Hello everybody, my name is Brandon Hopkins. I am a Linode developer advocate. And in this video, what we're gonna be doing is talking about the basics of the screen command. If you don't already know about the screen command, it's basically the perfect little tool you didn't know you needed. Basically what it does is it allows you to launch and use multiple shell instances from a single SSH connection. Or simply put, you can run terminals inside of terminals. This functionality is really good if you're doing something like a update command that's gonna take you a while and you want that to kind of run in the background while you can still interact with your Linode or your server. Or let's say you want to fire up a Docker container and actually be in that Docker container and then you want to detach from it without actually being detached. Ultimately, there are a ton of different use cases for this, and it all depends on your workflow and what you are doing. But to kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about here, I went ahead and fired up a fresh Linode running Ubuntu, and we're gonna go ahead and copy this right here. By the way, if you go ahead and check the link down below and you want to try this out today, there is a $100 60 day credit. So you might as well take advantage of that. And then boom, here is a terminal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste that and SSH into our server. Yes, this is my server. Type in our root password. And here we are. So the very first thing I need to do real quick is a uh, apt update so I can actually install screen. It usually doesn't come pre-installed, but we will see. Now we will check to see if it's installed. So let's apt install. And it looks like we already have screen. So what we're gonna do as an example is we're going to create a new screen to go ahead and update our system, quickly detach from it, and be able to interact with our system while there's an update running in the background. And to do this, what we could do is type in screen dash S, and we're gonna do update. So the dash S is creating our new sock or our new screen. And let's go in there. So now this is separate, or it's kind of like a different window of this SSH instance. And of course you can interact with this however you want. For example, I can show the whole root directory and I can run the apt upgrade. Before I do this, I wanna talk about shortcuts. There's a couple different shortcuts on your keyboard that you can use to detach, reattach, do all kinds of things with this little application. And the one that we're gonna use is Control A and D, and that's going to go ahead and detach from the screen without stopping it. So if I run this upgrade command here, hit enter, you can see the process is gonna start. I'm gonna say yes, and then I'm gonna go Control A and D. There we go, and we can see that I have it detached from the update. So now there's technically an update running in the background on a separate screen, and then I could go ahead and of course interact with the main instance right here. Now to show you to quickly reattach, I only have one, so I could type in screen dash R, and that's going to reattach to that screen running the update as the R variable means to reattach. So I'm gonna do that shortcut again, control A, D, to go ahead and detach from that screen. Now, another thing I wanna talk about real quick is being able to list and get rid of your screens. Now to do this, you just type in screen dash LS, hit enter, and you can see that we do have one screen up, that is the update screen, and we can see where the actual socket is right there. Now if I went ahead and created more, so for example, let's do screen dash S, and this one will be monitor hit enter, and then we could go ahead and uh, run something like, let's do htop, and then let's go ahead and uh, detach from it, so control A, D. And now if I run that LS, we can see we have both monitor and update there. And if I go ahead and reattach to monitor, we just get another example of what's going on. Since I have multiple, I need to specify. So attaching to monitor and then detaching, and then I could attach to the uh, update one if I wanted to, enter. There's not much going on there. I kind of cleared it out, but ultimately you get the point. There ain't much going on here. So let's go ahead and detach LS. We could see our monitors there. So now let's say we want to completely exit and close out of the update one. To do this, we could type in screen and then we're gonna go with the X variable. And this is going to execute a command from the instance we're in into that screen. And then we're gonna specify the socket or the screen. And for this, we're doing a update. And then the command we're gonna run is gonna be quit. So hit enter. And now if I LS again, we can see we only have one running. And that is because if I go ahead and uh, screen and I reattach to it, it's the only one available. So it's gonna to default to that. Let's uh, get out of here. So F10. And then if I type an exit in here, it doesn't actually exit the terminal or SSH session. It will exit that screen. So you can see the screen is now terminated. And now if I run LS, there is no socket running. 
And what I've described here is just kind of the basic use case for it. There's really a lot more commands, variables, and things that you could do. For this, I always recommend checking out the man page for these various commands. You can see there, this is actually a pretty beefy man page. It gives you a full description of what it is, even beyond that, what I've done in this video. And if we scroll down, down, down here, we have getting started. And right here, these are all of our command line options. So you have adapt, include all capabilities. The D and the R are the ones that we were running. So R for reattach and D for deattach. And then you can see based on your capitalization, it will add extra functionality or add variables such as logging out if necessary. And if I keep going down, doo -doo 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 -doo, there's all kinds of different settings and stuff that you can associate with these specific instances. So for example, here you have this also starts to screen in detached mode, but doesn't fork it as a new process. R resumes, S is the session name. And you could use the T variable to set the name or change the name. And if I keep going down here, these are the default key bindings. So I mentioned earlier, the control A and D will do the detachment if you're in a situation where you can't type the commands, such as running HTOP, an active update uh, within a Docker container, within a screen, things like that. You have quick switches between various windows and screens. There's really a lot going on here, including some split screen functionality. Overall, it's definitely worth checking out, and this is a fantastic little program to help you in your uh, system administration work. With all that, I do hope you enjoyed this introduction to the screen command. Do make sure you subscribe to this channel and check out some of our other videos for some wonderful cloud computing content. If you enjoy this kind of video talking about various commands that can help you out, I do recommend checking out some of the other videos on this channel by Jay. He does a fantastic job overviewing some of these commands, what they do, and how they can help you. Again, there's a link down below for the $100 60-day credit. Do not miss out on that. And I do hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and goodbye.